Hey everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright. Welcome, if this is your first time. If you're coming back, thank you, welcome back. Here's your daily stimulus check, second stimulus check, and stimulus package update for Friday, August 14th, 2020, and your one executive order and three executive actions called memorandums. Um, this is an update. Well, they are officially gone. They're all gone. They just left us. They left us high and dry. Find out why the last remaining congressional member are leaving Washington for vacation until September. News on Nancy's stimulus breakdown and where talks currently stand on another stimulus package and why Nancy now has to sell to us the program instead of negotiate after this. For the best news and information on how to master your money, dominate your money, business, and life, stay tuned to this channel. Don't forget to like the video. It really helps so much with the algorithm and it's given me some love and I appreciate it when you do that. It means the world to me. You know, it's like, we like, 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 yeah, please. Also, if you don't like it, just hit the dislike twice to smash it twice to make sure you didn't get, you got it good. Also, hit the subscribe and the notification so you'll be notified of videos. In addition, when I hit 70,000 subscribers, which I'm hoping, I'm hoping I hit it this weekend so I can give away $700 cash to somebody randomly in the comments as a cheat code. Go back, put comments in the last 10 videos as a cheat code. That way you have a better chance of winning. We want to give the money away. My bank account, it's going to lower, but yours will go up and that'll be great for you. Also, um, grab your two free Weeble stocks. That can happen right now, today. You can get two stocks, one valued up to $1,400 just by opening an account. It's no cost to you and no catch. That's why I pose it here. But first, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi held her weekly press conference yesterday, offering both an explanation for why talks have stopped and what she wants to do with those stimulus funds. I guess she got to explain why she's going to get on a jet plane and leave. Like she doesn't uh, want to just get on the jet plane and leave. She's got to do a big show down, which I'm going to share with you what she showed. When asked if talks will begin again soon, Pelosi responded, and this is her quote. This is from her mouth in my mouth to yours. I don't know when they come with, come up with $2 trillion. Uh, well, when they're ready to do that, we'll sit down. So yeah, she's, <laughs> Nancy, really, you're stuck on $2 trillion. She's really stuck on this Gucci stimulus. And uh, somebody in the comments uh, corrected me on uh, Christian Louboutins. Louboutins? Batons, yes. So, you know, I'm the red bottom shoes. And uh, yeah, it was like, oops. Oops, I know what they are. I go to the stores, I see them. I, they're amazing shoes, if you've never seen them. They're beautiful. They're just like, you know, the, I mean, yeah, it's just amazing. Great shoes, like art. So Pelosi probably has quite a few pairs of those. Describing what the funds will be used for, Pelosi displayed a compelling graph, which is, I'm showing you right here, and outlines the key stimulus items and how the money will be spent. I think it's over here or over there. It's somewhere here. Yeah. So I've got to hand it to you, Nancy. You make a pretty compelling case for $2 trillion. You know, like I'm, I'm tempted. I'm in fact, I'm with you. I can't argue against funding for food assistance, evictions, testing, and safe schools. Who could be against that? Like, I, I don't even know, like, it's like checkmate. How, how do you, how do you argue that? I mean, like, I, 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 I can't even, can you even fathom? Can you, can you come up with an argument that says we shouldn't help people eat, not get kicked out of their, their place, not know if they have it, and return little innocent kids safely back to school, and they could catch it and be a carrier and give it to so many people, this thing out there that is like real, you know, but weird. Like, it's just so strange where this is like living in some weird 
surreal environment. I don't know if you can feel that, but all this is so surreal to me. I, you know, I've had even somebody close to me pass um, that you know in my environment, and it's just, you know, it, it's just it's it's terrible. Nancy, I'm on board with the Dolce and ba- uh, Dolce Gabbana stimulus package. You know, it's not really a Chanel. It's more of, you know, Gucci. But I'm with you. I'm on board. Meanwhile, some economists are worried that without stimulus funds for the state and local governments, we could be in for a rocky ride that's even bumpier than the Great Recession of 2008. I don't, they could, I mean, it is so obvious. You know when economists report something? When they already see the evidence that it's already happened. They're really, they report history, not news. They look at the stats and they can already predict it out. It's not like they're creative or a visionary. That's more me. I'm a visionary guy. I see things in the future that don't exist yet. They look in the past and figure out how that projects into the future. That's an economist. That's what they do is study charts and graphs of history. Not what will be but what was and what it'll look like in the future. And also in 2008, I watched Nancy speak in September about how they were not offering to save all these banks. And I watched the market crash. I watched all hope be lost on every single word that I hung on in 2008 in September when I had millions and millions and millions of dollars at stake with them just just saving the banks and my banks failed because they didn't support the banks and now we have a decade later or more than a decade later right 12 years later i have the same lady i'm watching that is trying to save so much of the economy and now they won't listen to her the opposite before she was stuck on not helping because it was the banks and now we're like flipped it the other way where if this money goes out, don't you know that all that money gets circulated back in the economy? It's not like it disappears. The money goes out and then it goes around and it keeps everybody alive Why the 15 million businesses are eroding out from under us right now, right? 30, 31% of businesses may not open. That's what's at risk right now. It represents about 10 million businesses and about 40 million jobs. That's a lot of displacement. They believe that the major reason for why it took so long to recover that Great Recession was due to the need to cut spending and the layoff of states and local workers as they were facing significant budget cuts. Yes, stop funding, stop jobs, stop money circulating. There's no blood in the system. How long can you operate? Like how long, how long could you operate without blood? How long? I mean, about a second, maybe? Then everything starts dying. It's the same thing with not injecting money in there and getting the jobs going with the money. According to the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities, the revenue from states could fall, this is their quote, this is directly from them, could fall as much as more than it did in the worst year of the Great Recession and remain depressed in the following years. Japan's been like 10 years with this problem. They've been flat. An L like you would not believe. There's no heartbeat over there and the government owns 40% of the market. If we don't respond quickly, that'll be us. Come on, Congress. Listen to economists. Just, they're not fun to listen to. They're boring. They talk about numbers. There's no drinks, there's no hors d'oeuvres, there's no Gucci, there's no presents, there's no side deals. There's just the facts. I know you're probably watching this on the phone or on your private jet, but please take notice. And I know you can't hit the like button, so anybody else who's watching, please hit the like button. Just smash it because they won't, they can't. It's, you know, politics. You know, they can't leave a comment. They can't do any of that stuff. But we know they watch because I see it. I see it in the bills and stuff. They're just like, that came from me. That was my idea, right? I'm just kidding. We, we need another stimulus package, not just for ourselves, but for the local economies, the states, in order to avoid another multi-year financial hole in the Great Recession. It's fascinating. We have casinos here in Las Vegas 
that are completely closed. They don't know when they're going to open. Right? That's just here. Finally, the last of the Senate uh, stragglers that didn't leave have left Washington and Congress is officially on vacay. Yes, they're poolside. They're enjoying their stuff. While we're sitting here wondering, uh, oh, it seems like you didn't do your job. Like, aren't you supposed to put a roof on this house? Rain's coming. I don't know. I'm just saying. Maybe a covering, a tarp. They didn't even give us a tarp or an umbrella. Do you have an umbrella? You got a, roo you got a house with no roof and, like, you don't even have an umbrella and a storm's coming. Senator Majority Leader Mitch McConnell left the chamber in session this week in hopes of another stimulus package being approved by the House of Representatives and the White House. Talk about somebody who's been MIA, right? That's what they should call him, not Mitch, but MIA. Should we just call him MIA now? Fortunately, that did not occur, so Mitch closed up shop yesterday and won't return until September, barring any significant breakthroughs on a phase four disaster relief bill. So sounds like they're all checking out. McConnell stated, we will have our regular performa meeting through the end of the sta state work period if the Speaker of the House and the Majority Leader of the Senate decide to finally let another stimulus package move forward, it would take a bipartisan consent to meet the legislators for business sooner than the schedule. That's what he says. What this means is his Republican boys are not on board. 15 or 20 of them hit the road. They need Democrats and some straggling Republicans to pass anything through the Senate. So that's why he's not in the mix. That's why the White House, a desperate president that hopes to get reelected, is sitting there praying and hoping that his Treasury Secretary and his Chief of Staff, his main dude, can figure out how to work with the Democrats to somehow get something through. And of course, the top Democrat is saying, I need a Gucci bag or, you know, you need to come up, step up. She's saying, write, write the check. And she makes a compelling argument. So where do we currently stand on another stimulus package? Fortunately, it looks like we won't see, unfortunately, not fortunately, fortunately, uh, we have somebody shooting for the Gucci stimulus. Unfortunately, it looks like we won't see another stimulus package featured around $1,200 stimulus check in September or earlier. So August is out the window. We got half August to deal with and September, unless something happens, we're, we're still stuck in limbo. Both sides are sticking to their guns with Democrats dead set on two trillion and the Republicans holding strong at a trillion, although they haven't even voted on a trillion. So I'm not sure we can even count on that, but I can count on the Democrats. They will come through Come on, y'all. It's not that difficult. Since the Democrats already came down from $3 trillion to $2 trillion, I'm just saying, I know you guys are listening. Why not just, just do one seven? Can you, give, can you give a little love? Just one seven. Come up a little bit. Just a little bit of love goes a long way. It's going to go back into the marketplace. And it's going to come right back to you guys. Because you guys rein it all back in. Right? Your little 30%. Your little federal, your taxes, you get it all back. So just give it to us for a short period of time, and then you'll get it all back through sales tax, gas tax, income tax, Social Security tax, tax, 37 different taxes. You'll get it all back. Just give a little. You'll get it back. I just made that number out of thin air, the 1.7. But hey, sounds good to me, right? What do you think? In the comments, say, I like 1.7. What would you like to see the stimulus bill be? Zero? Nothing? 500 billion, a trillion, 10 trillion, right? Hey, let's just all give everybody a million dollars, right? The hell with it. Make everybody a millionaire. That would change the disparity right now since more than half the population have nothing, which is a disparity crime of the billionaires. Just give everybody a million dollars. That way they, we can just change that one stimulus, right? We need disaster relief and can't wait till September. Uh, that sounds like a good idea. Let's just make everybody a baseline millionaire, right? That's your stimulus check and second stimulus check. And maybe I've lost my mind. I don't know how the economics of that works, but shit, it just sounds good. I'd love to make everybody a millionaire. I like that would be such a passion. My goal is actually to make at least 
in my lifetime, before I leave this planet, over 67 people a millionaire. That's my personal goal. That someone, someone, 67 people, if I can make 67 people before I leave this earth achieve the financial dream of becoming a millionaire, it's a personal goal I have. And I'm super ridiculously committed to it. That was your stimulus check, second stimulus check and stimulus package update for Friday and also your executive order and three uh, memorandums update for Friday, August 14, 2020. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, I love you. I don't know how much I can tell you that I just so much appreciate it. If at this point you haven't liked the video, like it. It's not that hard. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free. I know the button's just right there. Just, just push it. You don't even have to push it too hard, just enough so it turns blue. And for sticking around this long, what's your favorite holiday? What, what's your favorite holiday? I'd love to know. Don't we need a holiday right now? And Congress, you don't need one. Get back to work. I'm telling you. I'm at work. We're at work. You're at work. We're figuring out what to do. They can work. I love you. I'm Andrew Cartwright.